What does God ask you to do that feels way too big, way too hard, and way too overwhelming? Maybe it's parenting three kids below the age of five. Maybe it's trying to be Christ-like in a very un-Christ-like situation, like navigating an angry boss or a difficult marriage. Maybe it's being faithful to a ministry that just feels so barren so hard, so lifeless. How do we obey God when it's not easy? Well, last week we talked about our tendency to sabotage our obedience and disqualify ourselves before we ever begin. But this week I wanna talk about how to keep faithful when being faithful is hard. I think there's this idea going around in modern Christianity that doing God's will should always be easy, but that's not entirely biblical. In fact, all through the Word of God, we see that people who wanted to obey God often paid a high price. In 2 Corinthians 1, 8-9, Paul writes about his ministry saying, We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure, and we thought we would never live through it. In fact, we expected to die. But as a result, we stopped relying on ourselves, and we learned to rely on God. Uh, can I just tell you, I really want things to be easy. I resent it when things are hard. And yet, it's at that crossroad of my obedience and those difficult things in life that I have learned, like Paul, to stop relying on myself and to start relying on God. My whole addiction to easy was really challenged when I met a beautiful woman named Kimberly at the garage sale we held last month. Kimberly was paralyzed from the neck down by a staph infection from a, just a, a very ordinary surgery. And now she has very little movement, really only in just one hand. But somehow we got on the topic of writing and she shared that she had just finished a devotional. And so I had to ask how she did it. Did you talk in a recorder and then have it transcribed? And she said, no, no. In fact, she just sat in her wheelchair and with that one little finger, she typed out that entire devotional on her iPhone. Oh, I have to tell you, I was so convicted about my addiction to easy and the self-pity that often taints my obedience when obedience is hard. But here's the good news, you guys. God will never ask us to do anything he's not willing to enable us to do. I was at a writer's conference this spring and I was really challenged by a verse that one of the women shared. It's a verse from 1 Chronicles 28. David's talking to his son Solomon about the importance of building the temple. David had gathered all the material, but the actual construction had to be done by Solomon. 1 Chronicles 28, 20 says this, be strong and courageous. I love that when God says that. Oh yes, bring it on, Lord. Bring on the strength, bring on the courage. But then the next part of that verse says this, and do the work. Do the work. Listen, God wants to partner with us. He's promised to give us everything we need to do everything he asks, but we've got to do the work. I love that David goes on and says, do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord, my God is with you. He will not fail you. He will not forsake you. He will see to it that all the work is finished correctly. Listen, God provided everything that we need to do, everything that he asked, but we've got to be willing to do the work. So what is the Lord put in front of you today? It might not seem big, it might not seem terribly important, but he wants to give you the strength and the courage to do the work, the simple, ordinary things, as well as the big, extraordinary things. Let's stop disqualifying ourselves. Let's just reach out and receive by faith all that God has provided, and then let's get down and do the work. Well, hey, listen, if you didn't get a chance to listen to last week's episode, you can watch it here. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments what God's asking of you, the strength and the courage that he's providing you to do the difficult things that maybe really you would rather not have in your life. 
He wants to meet you in all of those things. He wants to sanctify each of them and make them holy, make them ministry as we're strong and courageous and simply do the work. Bless you, my friend. See you next time.